Shabbat Shalom. This week's Parsha is Parshat Titzavet, which begins with the command to design and build the menorah, the Ner Tamid, that stood in the Mishkan. Most translations of the menorah call it the seven branch candelabrum. But in point of fact, the menorah was actually the center pillar surrounded by three branches on each side. The menorah is that one central pillar. But the language, of course, gives the rabbis pause as they read the command for the Ner Tamid. It says, Vayichu Elecha Shemen Zayit Zach Katit Lamaor that you shall take for yourself beaten oil for the light, l'ha'alot ner tamid, to raise up or to establish the eternal light. Which led Rabbi Shmuel bar Nachmani in the time of the Talmud to put into God's mouth, as it were, v'yichu e'lecha, you shall take for yourselves the lowly, and not for me. Because what does God need that light? What are we, like Tom Baudet, that will leave the light on for God, and maybe God will see the light and then appear in the Mikdash? No, he says, the light is not God's light. It is our light. We're the ones who take the olives. We're the ones who press the olives and make the oil and we bring the oil, and we fill the menorah and its surrounding cups, and we bring that light into the Mishkan, into the tabernacle. God doesn't need that light. God is the source of light. But then other rabbis in the Midrash ask, well, what does this light represent? Why do we need light? And the most common explanation is that light is a metaphor for Torah. That we were supposed to light that ner tamid to remind us that there is something that burns eternal. And it is our love of and our passion for Torah. And as long as we continue to study Torah, to live Torah, we will bring that light from our neshamas wherever we are, and it will be a ner tamid, an eternal light. And so we take the representation of the ner tamid in the Mishkan, in the tabernacle, and we put it above the Aron Kodesh, the ark in the synagogue, so that every time we walk into shul, we are reminded that we have a responsibility to bring light into the world, to bring light to every corner where there is darkness, to bring justice when there is oppression, to bring food where there is hunger, to bring healing where there is illness. That is our light. And that is our light that God willing will burn forever. Shabbat Shalom, and may you have a Zizan Shabbos.